So these are black walnut seedlings that are just one year old. Notice seeding them in a big 25 gallon container and also wrapping them with uh, white lumber wrap helps so that the container doesn't heat up as much. But notice the size difference between one year black walnut seedlings here and one year black walnut seedlings that were seeded individually in these long tree pots. These are, I think, 14 inch tall by like three and a half inch wide on top pots. And they basically get restricted by space. Just one season and the roots are basically hitting the bottom and all the edges of this container so you can't keep black walnuts in these pots for any longer than one year and in here if you seed them like I have I also wouldn't want to keep them for another season in here because they're they're just gonna get way too big and then it's gonna be really difficult to separate them so I'm gonna try to separate these now see how it goes Notice I mulch everything, even my pots. And so before I kind of try to pull it out, gotta remove the mulch so that it doesn't mix in with the soil. Mulch does a very good job on the surface, but if it gets mixed in with the soil, then it's gonna pull nitrogen from the roots. So. I don't want that so as I'm separating it the wood chips will be dropping into my main pile of soil that I'm gonna want to reuse and so I'm gonna pull this mulch out before I try dumping these or pulling them out I'm gonna show you how I pull the seedlings out of this big pot because it's heavy it's 25 gallons so basically want to roll it around a little bit make sure it's loose kind of get the bottom a little bit make sure that soil gets all loose and then I'm gonna stand like this grab this with my legs grab the two strongest seedlings in here and pull the root ball out all right so pulled it out big container here are the walnut seedlings look at these roots they I thought they would be a little more uh, on the bottom but they're actually actually not that crowded yet which is good but either way I'm still gonna have trouble loosening all these so what I like to do is I'll grab like a stick and I'll slowly start to pick at the soil from the bottom and, and of course you're gonna be breaking some roots when you mass seed them that way so that's kind of the downside of mass seeding the walnuts like this. Well, that's kind of how I separate them. I find find the spot where I can separate them, and then I start moving in. If I tried to tear it apart, I'd be tearing even more roots. And so, 
doing it this way, at least I tear a little bit less roots. So kind of find a spot in the container that has less trees. And like over here. Then I can maybe move in from this side. And once you pull like one or two of them out. Once I pull like one or two of them out, it might be a little easier to do it. There's a, a little one on this side. This little one is out, basically. Well, it has like three tap roots. There's a tiny one that's separated. And I'm just going to slowly tease them out. Try to loosen up as much as I can before I start tearing the root ball apart to save as much of the roots. All right, I'll be back. So once you've separated a few of them out, there are some nice root systems. Better than I can get shipped in as a one year seedling. So there's some solid roots. Once you've started it, it's easier to separate them. I'm doing it with one hand here. There's another one. As once once you've got a few of them out, then the root ball kind of gets more loose and it's easier to separate them. Some smaller ones. So the, the last few you separate actually don't get too much root damage. These roots are basically intact and these seedlings are bigger than if I put them in one tree pot individually. Look how many roots there are. One reason to mass seed them like that is look at all the walnuts that didn't sprout. There's probably at least at least like 20 in here that fell out, that never sprouted, all these, and most of them are rotten, occasionally one might sprout the next year, I've had that with hazelnuts, I don't know if that's true for black walnuts, I don't know, I could try to save those and plant them again, but I just cracked one and uh, it was rotten on the inside. Maybe I'll crack out a few more and double check. But these are all the ones that didn't sprout. So if you're, if you're seeding them one by one and they haven't actually broken out of the shell yet and you don't see a root, then you probably don't want to do that. Plant them individually once they have a root. And if they don't, then mass seed the rest of them into a, a big container. And then you end up having to do this the next year bare root them and some of, some of them aren't completely bare rooted some of them have some soil attached like this one I want to try to keep as much of this soil attached I'll try not to move them around too much there's more walnuts unsprouted this last one will be like almost fully intact with soil so yeah that's that's how i separate my black walnut seedlings i'm going to show you exactly how i planted those walnut seeds this is some manure it's a little bit aged but it still has quite a bit of nitrogen in it make sure it has a good amount of hay in it or straw 
Don't need a lot. Just enough to cover the bottom of this container. Now what this is gonna do is sort of keep the dirt from coming out of the holes, but also it's gonna help catch the moisture when you're watering. It's gonna keep the roots from all going straight down, hitting the bottom, and then kind of forming a root mass at the bottom, a couple inches of the pot instead of up above. The roots will kind of hit the manure and it'll be too strong for them, so they'll stay above it, but they can still reach the nitrogen when they need to. Okay, so before I plant those walnuts, I gotta show you how I make my soil mix because I need soil for that. I have access to a bunch of sand on the property. So I mix in about 30% sand to compost. This is compost I purchased locally, made mostly from uh, cow manure and food scraps. It's a nice compost. So the way I mix it is, I put some of that compost on the bottom of the wheelbarrow. So underneath is compost. And then I'll put the sand in. And then I'll put more compost on top. And then I'll mix it. So after you mix it, it's going to look like there's a lot more sand than there really is. That's because the compost kind of stays in chunks and the sand goes around every single particle and surrounds it, which is good. So the, the end mixture should be, you know, pretty well draining soil in the end which it is, I've done this before, and it turns into a really good potting mix. I don't use vermiculite or perlite or none of that stuff because sand also adds minerals. I've seen plant roots go directly into sand. And so I'd rather use sand than perlite, vermiculite, or all those other products in the mix. First of all, because I have access to a lot of it. Yeah, it makes your potting soil heavier, but you get more use out of it. It's a lot longer lasting, especially if you're doing something in pots for more than three years. Vermiculite will just turn into a soggy goo after a few years versus sand is basically forever. So that's, that's probably my best uh, soil mix advice where you just use compost and sand. There's really nothing to it. About 30%. Looks like there's more sand, but there really isn't. A lot of this is compost. The sand just gets in between every particle. Provides good drainage, but also minerals for the plants. Let's go plant those walnuts. There's that manure on the bottom, and now I'm just going to fill this pot up with soil. Alright, so now we're getting to the nuts themselves. These black walnuts were sitting in a big barrel that has holes at the bottom. I put some wood chips, mulch in this barrel, fill it with nuts, make sure that the nuts aren't really touching the edge of the barrel so they don't rot they need oxygen movement and put all the nuts in your barrel cover it with wood chips so this thing was full just sitting outside all winter long and these nuts are now fully stratified they have gotten through their cold period uh, I didn't even remove the husks these were stratified with the husks notice they're just all gooey and soggy and everything. That's how I germinate my black walnuts. You don't even have to worry about removing the husks. So some of them will probably be empty inside also, but 
Uh, a lot of them have already started sprouting and I planted them, but we're going to plant these into our container. Filled up the container just about two and a half inches from the top. So I'm going to put a good amount of nuts in here. And spread them out. Spread them out. So this is probably the same amount that I put in this container. Oh, there's one sprouting right there. It's already growing. So if they sprouted a root, make sure the root's facing down. Here's another one with a root. Make sure it's facing down. All the rest that haven't sprouted yet, it doesn't matter which orientation they are in. The root will turn around and come back down regardless. So it's not that big a deal. So I just kind of laid them out in one layer like this. Spread them out the best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. I don't know if I should put more or not. Probably don't want to overdo it because if you have too many seedlings that end up sprouting, it's going to be a crowded pot. So probably about 50% of these will sprout, maybe less. Uh, that's kind of the success that I've been having. If somebody gets better results, let me know. Maybe it's due to the fact that the husks aren't removed and so more of them rot before they sprout. That's uh, possibly one thing, but if you have a bunch of black walnuts and you don't have to worry about cleaning them, then this way works. So this method of planting applies to walnuts, heart nuts, wart nuts, probably pecans, hazelnuts, um, that type of nut you plant the same way. I also plant persimmon seeds and papa seeds the same way but the papa and persimmon seeds will sprout in the greenhouse so uh, the the plants that require more heat to sprout like papa and persimmon will sprout in my greenhouse but they will be planted the same way so yeah that's how that's how i do the black walnuts Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.